Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Deep state in mass panic over Putin sharing devastating info with Trump not yet reported. I don't know about you, but I was fascinated by Trump's meeting with Putin yesterday and the presser afterwards. Putting aside all of the drama, watching Putin's body language was very interesting. He's a master at geopolitics and he did not disappoint yesterday. I'm no fan of the Russians, but I have followed their doings for many years. Especially those of ex-KGB slash FSB officer, now Russian President Vladimir Putin. The deep state has got to be panicking after Putin dropped a major bombshell during the press conference in Helsinki, Finland yesterday. As Trump prepared to meet with Putin, the left was up to no good. The timing was obvious. Not only did you have Rosenstein announcing indictments for 12 Russian GRU officers, he was hoping to force Trump into a confrontation with Putin, over election meddling, you had the arrest of a female Russian operative who supposedly had lobbied the NRA and others on behalf of Russia. She was arrested on espionage charges. Convenient timing, huh? I don't believe for one second that the NRA is complicit with the Russians. All of this smells to high heaven. Even with all those shenanigans playing out. The left did not stop Trump from meeting with Putin yesterday. For two hours as a matter of fact. Alone. Russia is an enemy and I personally don't think they will ever be anything else, but part of being the president is diplomacy. And unless we want a nuclear war, they have to talk and find a way to get along. All Americans should want that. Yes, stop the meddling and the spying, but keep the big picture in focus while you do it. Trump did not collude with Putin. He was legitimately elected president and the left needs to get over it and let him do his job. Just about every single media outlet out there and all the Democrats called for Trump not to meet with Putin. CNN said this, President Trump should cancel his meeting with Vladimir Putin until Russia takes demonstrable and transparent steps to prove that they won't interfere in future elections. Glad handing with Vladimir Putin on the heels of these indictments would be an insult to our democracy, Senate Minority Leader Chuck Schumer said in a statement. First off. We are not a democracy, we are a republic. Second, you can't solve an international issue such as this by not meeting and threatening other countries. That leads to war and Schumer knows it. Pelosi tweeted, at real Donald Trump must immediately cancel his meeting with Putin. Vox, which is a commie outlet, went so far as to call the meeting a gift to Putin. No, it wasn't. The left this morning is screaming treason and impeachment. Democrats in the Senate are calling for an uprising against Trump. They are just begging for a civil war and it needs to be stopped. I think part of this is fear that Putin has stuff on the left. Why not? They have it on just about everyone else. From Gateway Pundit Today, yesterday, during the presser with President Trump, Russian President Putin dropped a bomb on the deep state members in the intelligence community, the Obama administration and the Clintons. As we reported today dash. Putin offered permitting officials in the U.S., including Mueller to Russia to assist in their investigation of the supposed Trump-Russia collusion story. Then Putin dropped his bomb where the U.S. could reciprocate Russia in one of their investigations dash. For instance, we can bring up Mr. Browder, in this particular case. Business associates of Mr. Browder have earned over $1.5 billion in Russia and never paid any taxes neither in Russia or the United States and yet the money escaped the country. They were transferred to the United States. They sent, a, huge amount of money. $400 million, as a contribution to the campaign of Hillary Clinton. Well that's their personal case. It might have been legal, the contribution itself but the way the money was earned was illegal. So we have solid reason to believe that some, U.S., intelligence officers accompanied and guided these transactions. So we have an interest in questioning them. Isn't that interesting? Notice how the media isn't talking about that bombshell. Trump was widely condemned yesterday. But maybe something is going to come out of that meeting that uncovers even more corruption on the left. Former Obama CIA director John Brennan, who was an open communist at one time, called Trump treasonous. Hillary Clinton, James Comey, Democrat Congress members, as well as some Republicans like Speaker Paul Ryan, all condemned the president. I still contend there was real collusion on the left with Russia. Not only the uranium incident with Hillary, but the million she made off the Skokovo Innovation Center as well. She sold our cyber technology to our enemies. If you want treason, there you go. There is much more to come out on that and all the money that both Bill and Hillary made by selling us out to the Russians, Chinese, and Iranians. Barack Obama is guilty too, as are others on the left. Right now, Lisa Page is implicating Barack Obama in the FBI scandal. You can be assured there are things President Trump cannot divulge yet and there is a lot more to come out on this.
the leftists are terrified of what Trump may uncover and even more of what he will say. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.